Manitoba country. Uh, You've been waiting to go to Japan for like years. Holy Hannah, that's large. Oh wow, that's pretty cool. Oh wow. oh wow. I was so hungry when I got here, so I Uber Eats food. Uber Eats, Uber Eats, you get it. I Uber Eats food to my hotel room and uh, I got some vegan sushi. I don't know if you know this, but I am uh, allergic to gluten and uh, I eat a plant-based diet. So I found this vegan sushi Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That is so good. Not a clue what it is. It's giving dessert though, so I'm pretty sure that's a dessert. Wow. I don't know what any of this is. It's day two in Japan, in Osaka specifically, and I've learned a lot of coffee shops don't open until like 11 or 12 which I'm not quite sure as the reasoning to. I should say like the small independent owned ones. The chains are open, but I want to try to find a little local one. So waiting on that, gonna uh, exploring the town, maybe do a little shopping, who knows? Uh, oh, that's a beautiful bridge. What bridge is that? I don't know. I can see up there. It's a bridge in the distance. I'm like, is that something? Shall we walk to that? The 7-Elevens here are next level. I saw so many things that I was very impressed by, but also too intimidated to buy. What are you doing? Making your dinner reservation for your birthday. Everything is in Japanese. <laughs> Said I wasn't gonna buy anything and then I got suckered in to a thrift store. Three coats later. And I'm traveling with a carry-on, so I have a feeling I'm gonna have to get a bag and check it home eventually because it's day two and I've already started shopping. But I knew I was gonna shop here, so I should have seen this coming. We are at a plant-based restaurant. It was my choice, and he got the choice of dinner tonight, so we're going to a sushi train bar. That didn't go as well as mine. I'm decent at them, I'm just picking up rice. Kicks. We've been walking everywhere and I will say everything feels incredibly safe everywhere we've walked which has been really nice and I feel like even though it's busy it's like organized busy so it never feels super like overwhelming. I'm really liking this city Osaka. I like it here. Look at this Ferris wheel. That's kind of neat. And that's where we're going for dinner. We're number eight. There you go. Thank you. Yeah, looks like tuna, baby. What is it? I don't know. Is it good though? I like it. Picasso. Another thing that's been incredible here is the toilet seats are all heated. Those like bidets on everything. Underrated. Honestly. So when it's a little chilly outside, I'm like, I would like to go find a washroom to just sit on the can because it is very warm. It's day three in Japan. We're still in Osaka packing up to leave today. Heading over to Kyoto. First, we're going to go grab some coffee in town. And then, oh, we have a lunch reservation at 1130. Look at the sweater. I didn't get it here, but I'm just obsessed with it. Look at the back. Not the coolest thing ever is from Free People Movement. Not not paid to say that. I'm just I'm just a big fan. 
Thank you. Gimbap. Cheers. We're on our way to Kyoto. We're pretty sure. We're on a train. I think it's the right train. If it is, we'll get there in like 45 minutes. We booked like a traditional Japanese housing. There's a name for it. I'm forgetting it. The traditional. I don't know. Okay, well, we'll remember it later. Anyways, come on in. Our host is so sweet. He just came and walked us around, told us all of the things. This is like a little bit out on the outskirts of town, which is beautiful because it's near like a lot of the temples and the Zen garden. Uh, there's two bedrooms. There's four beds and two of us. So I guess we'll just separate bedrooms, rotate beds. We got options. Um, a little tall for this place, so we duck on the door. But uh, this is our little kitchen area, which we need to go to the grocery store. And maybe that'll be the first thing we do at the grocery store. Uh, this is the second bedroom, which I don't want to stay here. This looks fun. I am so afraid of hitting my head. Really excited to eat here. And check out the bathroom. He literally, our host, because Dustin's so tall, he told him where an alternate bathroom is on the property in case his knees don't fit. Because this is the bathroom. This is the highlight of the house. This is the traditional tub, Japanese tub, and it stays warm for eight hours. Eight hours. You can reheat the water while it's in it, too. I'm not a bath person, but I might be. I might become one today. We just went to the grocery store and we got some just snack kind of foods. That's what we usually do when we travel, especially with my allergy. We got some hummus in a jar and some rice crackers. Google Translate has been amazing, like the camera feature to just like hold it against the labels of things because they're not in English and be able to know if you can eat them. Um, also, another really awesome thing that we did is we got this pocket Wi-Fi from Sakura Mobile. And it was like $100 Canadian for 10 days, eight days. And it's just Wi-Fi that comes around everywhere with us. So we can connect both of our phones, any of our devices, so we can kind of work on the go, which is way cheaper than keeping our phones on. We pre-ordered it and then we just picked it up at the airport and then we just return it when we fly home. Super easy. Little evening stroll. It's way chillier here, I think, than in Osaka. Do you just, know? just the evening. Yeah. On our way to go find some dinner. Online we saw this place that looks delicious. So it is our plan to try to go find said place. There's a lot of cats in this area. There's also a lot of hills in this area. It's a really beautiful area. It kind of reminds me of like West Coast Canada, how the houses are all built kind of into the mountains. All of the garages here and the garage doors are so small. Everything here is just like petite sized. Or maybe everything back home was just ginormous sized. I don't think my vehicle could fit in these garages, if I'm being honest. I used to find it very embarrassing to film in public. And don't get me wrong, I still have moments where I'm like, Ugh! can't get the camera out, don't want to film in public, but I'm getting a lot better about it. The more I do it, the more I'm like, you know what, who cares? People watch me. I had a lady the other day watching me vlog, staring at me, and then she'd go to her husband and be like, she's speaking to her camera. And I was like, I am. I am doing that. And I enjoy it. We're gonna go explore the city today. We're gonna go check out some temples and shrines and we're gonna go check out the bamboo forest. We're gonna go get some ramen today. I haven't had ramen yet since I've been here. We're gonna explore the bus system to get us around today. That and our feet. We are trying to public transportation it to the max while we are here. So pack up your things and let's go. We'll find some food and then we're gonna hit up the bamboo forest, which has been my want to do, must do since the start of the trip. I have not.
not had ramen since I found out that I couldn't eat gluten. So that was an amazing treat. Now we're off to find a train station because we have to pick up our train passes for a few days from now when we go from Kyoto to Tokyo that we bought online. Some people watch on public transportation for hours. It always makes me laugh how I see these places online and there's like no one here and everyone always has the perfect picture. Um, it's very busy. I'm not going to show you because I don't like to film strangers, but uh, there's a lot of people here. So it's still beautiful though, but be prepared for a crowd. I spoke too soon, it gets significantly less busy the further in you go, and this is definitely the area where everyone takes their photos from. Because everyone back there has their like tripods and everything set up. So this is where all the photos I've seen are from. We walked so much today that we decided, you know what? We don't want to find Subway right now. We're just gonna call an Uber. And we also have like an hour drive back from, so from here, which is, we have no idea. We're back, we're exhausted. We lit some incense and I'm gonna run a bath. It apparently takes like an hour to fill up. So it's gonna let it do its thing. And then I think we have some Epsom salts. Yeah. Instructions unclear. I'm gonna Google this. Seven in the morning and we're at the bus stop to go to the arches. Hello. It feels bright and early, but the sun comes up at five. Yeah, the sun comes over like five and sets at like eight. No, seven. Seven. But Ooh. Ooh. Oh, it's gonna be a good day. This is, I think every archway was given by a business or it's to pray for the business to do well. Our host was telling us about it, that he comes here a couple times a year for good, I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's prayer or good wishes or good energy for his business to thrive. You'll never believe what just happened as we were walking through. All we hear is toodaloo. And that made my absolute day. So if you're the gentleman that said toodaloo at me or to me when we were walking through here, thank you. That just brought me so much joy. I feel like a tower. <laughs> some of the best desserts I've ever had. The matcha pancake was fire. And I didn't think I was gonna be able to try one here because I didn't think I'd be able to find them gluten free. So we take the bus and the train quite a bit and I highly, highly recommend that if you're coming here. A friend of ours actually told us about this. It's an app, you find it by going into your wallet and uh, looking up transit and then under Japan, it's called PASMO. We just preloaded money onto that and then we just tap on and off on the trains, on the bus. We are originally gonna get the JR pass, but a friend of ours that had just traveled here recommended this pass and it's been amazing. We use the JR line a lot less than we thought we would. A few things we've noticed is no one eats or drinks really on the bus. And to be honest, there's not really garbage bins anywhere within the city. So having garbage while you're on the go and eating just like doesn't really make as so much sense unless you're going to carry it around with you all day. Everything is very much on time, very reliable. It is significantly cheaper than doing like taxis or Ubers around town, for example. What took us like maybe six dollars Canadian on like a bus or a subway, the same distance was about ninety dollars U.S. to Uber home. Well, we're all packed up. We're leaving Kyoto, heading to Tokyo. This has been such a great city. This space has been beautiful. I definitely am done with hitting my head. Did you just hit your head again? 
We're a little bit done with hitting our head on uh, the ceilings and the doorways. I mean, my head's been spared more times than Dustin says, I think. He's probably boarding a concussion at this point. We found our train, and we even found our car, and we're early, so this is a win. And we got coffee, so today's off to a great start. We seen it all. like going out for dinner tonight thought we'd save a little money so we went to a Lawson and I got a tofu bar kelp flavored and this seaweed and radish salad with no dressing because all of the dressings had soy sauce in it which has wheat in it doesn't smell like anything it looks like normal tofu It's just like a hunk of firm tofu, mildly flavored. Oh, that's seaweed. Ugh. It's a sports day. New kids. This, this is where all the young hit people come, so here we are. Disney's just fit. for leaving things a little early just to avoid the crowd and rush because I do not do well in crowds. Pardon me? Do you want to go into this team store too? It's only the fourth one we've gone into. Anything for you though? This is tofu actually. I thought it was noodles. Potato salad. Maple spicy tofu I believe. Vegetables. Vegan sushi. That's what Dust picked up for dinner. It's a, what's it called? It's like when they use rice as the bun of a burger. I thought I saw Gohan, but uh -huh. I could be wrong. I'm running low on clothing options. So we've got a jumper from Reformation, I think. Um, this from my own clothing line. I don't know if this video will come out before or after I mention it, but um, this is my own brand, which I love. And then some new kicks. There's one thing you should know about me, it's that I am always early. I cannot stand being like late. And if you're like on time, like exactly on time, I still consider it late. So it will always be early to things. And if I'm not, something has gone very wrong. We have arrived. <laughs> Well, that's a wrap on Japan. We are officially waiting for our ride to the airport to head home. After about two months on the road for me, I'm finally gonna get to be back with my dogs.